Hi, my name is Father Jesse Esqueda. I'm a missionary oblate of Mary Immaculate, uh, superior of the Tijuana Mission. And today we're going to talk to you of another great program that we have at this mission. The program is our mental health program. Uh, a few years ago, we realized that there were so many young people that were going to our retreats, that were coming to church, that they had severe problems. And they needed more than just talk to a priest. They needed therapy or counseling. And that's when we decided to start a program. And today now we have uh, Eduardo, he's the director of our program, licensed psychologist, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the program. Eduardo, can you tell us some of the problems that the youth face? Claro que sí. Eh, actualmente nosotros atendemos personas con depresión, personas que sufren de ansiedad, además de abuso sexual. Eh, también es muy frecuente la violencia familiar, psicológica y física, y nosotros atendemos eso. Some of the major problems in our communities is anxiety, depression, uh, sexual abuse, and family violence. Um, those are the problems that we see ongoing in our youth here. Can you tell us a little bit about the new committee of psychologists? Así es, estamos inici iniciamos más bien un programa eh, junto con psicólogos y estudiantes de psicología. Eh, actualmente somos tres psicólogos y cinco estudiantes de diferentes niveles de universidad que nos ayudan en las actividades. So Eduardo started a new committee. He's here full time, but in his committee he has two other full time, uh, two other licensed psychologists, and then five students that together compose this committee of psychologists. And what does the committee do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Principalmente atendemos personas en, en sesiones individuales. Eh, hoy en día, este, además de eso, tenemos charlas eh, que eh, impartimos en diferentes eh, capillas, en diferentes grupos de ministerio. Y es principalmente lo que hacemos. Uh, one of the main things that they do is that they see individual people uh, for counseling sessions. Uh, they see about 50 a la semana. Así es. They're seeing about 50 people a week for individual, individual sessions. And each person comes back on a bi-weekly uh, basis. Uh, but they also uh, do a lot of conferences on mental health, on violence, on conflict resolution. Um, can you tell us uh, a little bit about how many people you've been helping? ¿Cuántas personas han ayudado desde que empezó el programa? Sí, bueno, hace eh, tres años que empezó uh -huh. el programa. Tenemos ahorita la cifra de 450 personas que se han beneficiado solo en sesiones individuales. Ya en diferentes eh, charlas tenemos contemplado que casi mil personas se han beneficiado en diferentes eh, grupos que han tenido temas. There has been about 450 that have received individual counseling or therapy, and these are ongoing sessions. And uh, over a thousand people that have benefited from the different conferences that they do on mental health. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the program? Algo más que quieras compartir el programa? Pues, eh, quiero compartir una historia de muchas que hemos tenido a lo largo de este, de, de lo que ha sido este programa. Ha sido uno de los retos más grandes que hemos tenido en el programa. Tuvimos un niño de 11 años que eh, por cuestión de su ceguera intentó quitarse la vida. Entonces, eh, por medio de Pastoral Social, eh, canalizaron a este niño el programa de psicología Eh, gracias a Pastoral Social, el programa tuvo eh, la oportunidad de tener una operación. Uh -huh. Desafortunadamente la operación no salió bien y él no iba a volver a ver. Entonces parte de nuestro trabajo fue ayudarlo en esa aceptación de que no iba a volver a ver y especialmente cómo él se iba a adaptar eh, en su nuevo estilo de vida. Entonces realmente fue algo muy difícil y al final, hasta el día de hoy, ha podido salir adelante. So he's had many stories, heartbreaking stories. One of the stories is of a young boy, 11 years old, who is blind. And because he's blind, he tried to commit suicide a few times. Thanks to the program of social ministry, we were able to get an operation for him. Unfortunately, the operation did not work. He was unable to see. So it was up to Eduardo and his team to make sure that he would be able to accept the fact that he was not going to be able to see and for him to understand that this was going to be his lifestyle. So it was a very challenging uh, situation, but he seems to be accepting this reality. Um, there are so many stories of so many people that just definitely need someone that could help them, that could listen to them, and guide them in their very difficult life situations. So thank you again to you, because thanks to your donations, we're able to have Eduardo, full-time psychology, uh, uh, licensed psychologist, and a committee now of psychologists and students that are helping our community have better mental health. Thank you and may God bless you.